Hey, how's it going? Well, <laughs> I made a previous version of this video, but uh, the audio was messed up. I, I last night, uh, I accidentally turned something down and changed the settings on something, and I had to fix it anyway. And then, well, OBS has its own issues. You got to go through a bunch of stuff just to get a nice, you know, somewhat consistent frame rate. So anyway, yes, it's true that in traditional media, advertisers have been the ones calling the shots. They've been the ones who obviously pay for the programming. So the programming pretty much has to be in line with what the advertisers want. It's been this way for many decades. But even in the 1990s, if you talked about it, people would say you're spreading conspiracy theories. I mean, it should be just common knowledge that the advertisers have a great effect on what the networks show. But even today, there are still some people who consider it a conspiracy theory. The same obviously applies to social media. And Elon Musk's recent moment where he said, fuck you to the advertisers, has actually awoken a lot of people to this sort of thing. Honestly, advertisers should have no right to dictate how a website is run. Yes, they, they have the choice to put their ads onto a, a platform, but you can't expect the public to just be this one particular monolith of things, you know? If these companies want their product or service to be seen, they should accept that people who have mindsets that they might find abhorrent might see it. You know, that their ads will be placed next to things that they may disagree with. You know, that they should honestly have very little control over that sort of thing. Are they a company who wants to be seen more? Or are they a company that puts politics over everything else? Just because an ad is next to something that a company doesn't support doesn't mean the company supports those things. We all know this. We all instinctively know this. This shouldn't be a big deal. It shouldn't be a big issue at all. But advertisers are very much used to the notion of media completely conforming to everything they want. And because they've gotten their way for so many decades, they expect to still get their way in the age of the internet, where people are able to state harsh opinions that actually gain some traction. I'm hoping that Elon's recent moment in that interview, I'm hoping it brings a lot of this to the surface for a lot more people so, you know, people can get an understanding of what is and what and who is actually running things. And then there's things like Operation Mockingbird, where the government is heavily involved in moderating what we see, you know, on media in general. We've been herded around like cattle, honestly. If everyone was to be completely honest, people would say that, yeah, they're, they're bigoted. Everyone is bigoted to some degree. We may strive to not be bigoted, but deep down we still are. That doesn't mean we, we celebrate our bigotry, no, but still we, we, we have all these different sides to ourselves, you know? We all seem to feel that our particular interpretation of reality is the most valid, or more valid than most. And that doesn't make it right. That doesn't mean that our interpretation is the most valid. But it's just human nature to think of things this way. Everyone has a certain amount of self-centeredness. There's our reality, and then there's the objective reality that nobody is ever really going to be fully aware of. But I sincerely hope that advertisers can eventually get used to the idea of their products or services being advertised in places that they, they don't like. I mean, if you're going to try to control who it is that has access to your products or services, that's pretty controlling. You probably deserve to have a decrease in your revenue. But uh, X is like the town square. People of all mindsets are going to be there. If that scares you as an advertiser, you're kind of weak and pathetic, honestly, as well as being authoritarian. You want to demand how people think of things. And that's just not acceptable in a country that prides itself in freedom of speech. Just saying.